The United Nations Children Fund, UNICEF, has contributed to the fight against acute respiratory disease in Oyo State by donating a solarized PSA medical oxygen plant and a level 2 newborn unit to the state government. During the event at Jericho Specialist Hospital in Ibadan, UNICEF representative Kristen Munduate emphasized the significance of the oxygen plant as an innovative and resilient solution that will save numerous lives and serve as a model for similar projects nationwide. Munduate highlighted the importance of the solarized medical oxygen plant in delivering critical life-saving care, especially for newborns and children with respiratory conditions like pneumonia. This triple milestone represents a remarkable step in our shared commitment to improve maternal and child health in Oyo State and across the country. One of the main reasons of um, the lack of rapid reduction of mortality rate in under five children is because the newborns, their death are not being prevented enough. So this is for the newborns. This is to save life. In these challenging times, we have all witnessed the critical importance of raising access to healthcare infrastructure. The COVID-19 pandemic underscored the urgent need for reliable medical oxygen supply, a lifeline for countless patients battling respiratory ailments such as pneumonia, hypoxemia, disorders in newborn babies and pregnant women, as well as support for emergency cases such as during surgeries and in obstetrics care and anesthesia. Responding, the Oyo State Governor Engineer Sheyi Makinde emphasized the importance of establishing stronger institutions in uh, addition to infrastructure development during the launch of the Oyo State Strategy for the Scale-Up of Medical Oxygen in Health Facilities 2024 to 2028. He expressed his desire to be remembered for, his, for this initiative, which aims to enhance maternal and child health not only in Oyo State but across Nigeria. Any project that improves the healthcare system in our state is important to us because it keys into our administration's plan to move the people of our state from poverty to prosperity. But our state used the pandemic as a fulcrum for developing healthcare facilities. Although no one is uh, praying for another COVID-19, But it is always best to be prepared. And there's no better way to be prepared than to have facilities like this, even if there's no COVID-19. Hypoxemia alone accounts for an estimated 120,000 deaths among children in Nigeria every year. And therefore, prompt hypoxemia treatment and treatment is critical to care and improve patient outcomes. Since the era of COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, the federal and the state government, in collaboration with donors and development partners, have ramped up investment to increase access to safe and efficient medical oxygen in the country. And through these achievement, achievements, plan to build up the oxygen supply ecosystem, not only to respond to current needs, but for future pandemic. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.